I do research on um, asylum seekers, Roma, refugees, minority groups, on undocumented migrant children and families, on stateless people. What I try to do is to explore the spaces between citizenship and non-citizenship and to show how in the contemporary society, in the super diverse societies, it's no longer possible to address issues in terms of binaries between legal and legal, citizen and non-citizen, and we need a new um, way of looking at this society which tend to focus not on these binaries but on the various steps in between which are possible. The way that people uh, relate themselves to the state is changed and now it's no longer a relationship just between the state and the person but there is also the human rights framework, the human rights obligation that intervenes. And I think that work around super diversity here at IRIS is really important because as an interdisciplinary institution, institutes, we tend to build links and develop new perspectives perspective on these issues. I think then from my previous work uh, what seems to emerge is uh, that um, society is changing radically, is becoming much more complex to understand and if you look at things through a super diversity lens you start to question some of the assumption and the key concept that we have used till now by when we talk about migration. For example the concept of integration. Just think about uh, uh, a school in Newham, in London, East London, where you go there and there are 60 different languages, uh, kids from so many different countries. It's no longer clear who is the white person, who is the black, who is the English speakers, who is not. So, for example, in the school where I went for my research, um, I was told that the main English native speaker groups are the Afro-Caribbean British people, while the main white group are the Polish migrants. There. So you can see the confusion, but also the novelty of the situation. So when we talk about integration, for example, what are we talking about? Integrating into what? Uh, the, in a way, the, the baseline has changed. We need to think in a new way, reimagining society. And I think applying a super diversity lens really can help. I'm doing my work in various directions, but two in particular I think are relevant in, within the super diversity agenda. First, our question around methodology. Um, how do we do research in an area where there is so much diversity? How do, as a sociologist, as an ethnographer, um, go in the field and try to relate to so many different stories? So we need to think about new and different ways to uh, discover society. And, and this is the kind of work I'm trying to do. I started doing it by working with colleagues on special issues on um, ethnography diversity in the urban space that just came out uh, in uh, 2013. And the other direction of the work I'm doing is to look at the way that diversity and super diversity have become terms that are not only used by academics but also by policymakers, that are becoming part of so the uh, the public discourse and how this three dimension, the dimension of the imagination, so the way we look at things and now we describe them as diverse, um, the way that uh, uh, local authorities or politicians just use diversity as a way of uh, governing difference somehow, and also the way that uh, the factual element of it, the fact that it's a, the society has become more complex, all these three spheres relate to each other is something relatively new and I'm really trying to work on it around it now.